This video provides a basic introduction and demonstration of Chain That's Accounting, Settlement and Claims Agreement Solution based on R3's Corda platform. In the commercial insurance processes, it covers technical and financial accounting, settlement on a net or direct basis, and claims agreement. The solution is designed to be backwards compatible with the Accord eBot and eCOT data standards and processes. The example used is based on a reinsurance contract managed by a reinsurance broker. Once a contract inception date is reached, the first stage is to pay the premiums, fees and taxes between the broker and the reinsurers on the contract. The debt between the broker and reinsurers must be agreed. Agreement of the debt is reached using the technical accounting data and process, which is shared between the parties. Once the debt is agreed, it then needs to be settled. A financial account is generated based on the agreed technical account data and is shared between the broker, the reinsurer and the settlement organization, in this case a bank. The settlement bank will add the details of the financial account into the next scheduled settlement run and will perform netting calculations across all the outstanding financial accounts to establish the most efficient number of payments to make in the settlement. Once the payment is made, the settlement bank updates the financial accounts which have been paid with the settlement payment reference. In the event a claim is made against the contract, the claim movement process begins, allowing the broker and reinsurers to communicate and agree the claim. Once a claim payment request is agreed between the parties, the associated technical accounts are generated and enter the process as per the premium, fees and taxes, but with the direction of payment reversed. The solution is based on APIs, which can validate requests at any stage of the process. In the case of an external system or smart contract-based contract having already established the debts, it can go straight to settlement. The same is true for claims, where payments relating to a claim are agreed, that is, the claim debt is already established, it can also go straight to settlement. For the demonstration of the solution there are two brokers, two reinsurers and a settlement bank. Each party has their own node. The node hosts all of the party's own data, runs the application, and provides both an API and web-based user interface. Each node is underpinned by the Corda DLT platform, which is used to provide a shared perception of truth, shared processing logic, and shared communication on a peer-to-peer -peer basis between the transacting parties. In the demo, we will focus on transactions between Broker A, Reinsurer A, and the Settlement Bank. For the demonstration, on the left side is the user interface for the broker and on the right side is the user interface for the reinsurer. The whole process is managed through the user interface, but in many practical situations, the action seen would be a result of API calls from other systems. The user's dashboard shows the current state of the system. This covers recent payment activity and recent transaction activity. All of this data is held and derived from the data stored in the Corda ledger. Each node used is connected to the Corda test network where information on how to communicate with other parties is provided along with their details. Switching to the accounts view shows a summary list of all the accounts and their associated details, including their current state in the process, the parties involved and the amount due. To start the process through the user interface, as opposed to the external API, the broker uploads a standard accord based technical account XML. Once uploaded, the broker can view and make any changes needed to the details which covers the broker's details, the reinsurer's details, the cedent's details, the reinsurance account information, the subaccount and the account balance. The broker can also select the payment type and in this case selects net settlement. Once happy with the details, the broker submits the proposed technical account for validation. Once validated, it is added into the ledger of both the broker and the reinsurer. The reinsurer is notified that a new validated technical account has been added and that it is awaiting their response. This is highlighted red at the top of the table, with the broker owing £43,000 to the reinsurer. The reinsurer can now select and view the details of the new technical account.
The reinsurer can raise a query on any of the data. In this example, the date is wrong. The broker is notified that the technical account has been queried. The notifications are generated by the fact that both parties are seeing the same data on the ledger, and when a validated update is submitted to the ledger, an event is triggered by the application. The broker can now review the query. They can then make any changes needed and update the technical account details. In this case, the date is changed. The broker can also add a response to the query, providing the reinsurer with further details on their update. The reinsurer now reviews the update and, once happy, can accept the technical account. At this point, both parties can now immediately see that the debt is established by the fact the technical account is in the accepted state. The broker now requests the account details are included in the next settlement run, which in effect turns it into a financial account. In this instance, the settlement bank is now also added into the process and can see the state and payment information of the account. To demonstrate the process, the user interface of the left is now showing the settlement bank node. The bank node now generates the details of the next settlement run with the reference of Video01, which includes all the financial accounts in the state of settlement requested. The related financial accounts are updated to the state awaiting payment, which is also reflected back to the relevant reinsurers and brokers. The reinsurers can switch to the payment dashboard, where a summary is displayed along with the current outstanding payments. In this case, the reinsurer is due to receive three payments, one for pounds, one for euros, and one for US dollars. The bank can see all settlement runs that have previously been created, which provides the details of the netted payments required, along with a list of all the included financial accounts. Once the payment time is reached, the bank makes the payments. The financial accounts are updated to the state paid, and the reinsurer's payments to date are updated. At the time that the financial accounts are included in a settlement run, the bank adds the settlement run reference to the associated financial accounts, which the reinsurer and broker can view. In this case, the reference of Video01 can be seen against the paid account. In this way, on the ledger, there is a complete trail of every settlement and payment back to every individual technical and financial account. This relieves the burden of reconciliation for every party. To demonstrate the claim process, the user interface on the left is now switched back to the broker node. The claims menu shows a summary of all the claim movements. The broker can upload new claim data through the API, or in this case can enter the new claim details manually. The key details are entered by the broker. The reinsurers involved in the contract are selected, and the correct share is entered for each. In this case, it is a split of 40-60. Two claim movements are generated, a separate one for each reinsurer on the contract. The reinsurer can now view and update the reserve on the claim. At the appropriate stage in the claim agreement cycle, the broker can request a claim payment. In this case, 10,000 US dollars, which equates to 4,000 US dollars for reinsurer A.
The reinsurers can then review the request and agree to the payment. The reinsurer user interface is switched to show the accounts dashboard. With the payment request agreed, the broker can now generate a new technical account based on the agreed claim payment. This can also be automated as required. In this way, the claims agreement process is integrated with the overall payments and settlement processes as is conceived in the Accord process model. Chain that solution demonstrates that the Accord models can be applied to a distributed ledger with the added benefit that every party is seeing the same data and same status at the same time. For further details, please visit www.chainthat.com.